Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of TLA. If you are new to my channel, welcome, and I hope you enjoy the content. My name is Keith Nguyen, and I'm a kayak angler, vlogger, blogger here in the San Francisco Bay Area. On this episode, I travel down to Monterey Bay to partake in the 2022 Monterey Bay Kayak Tournament. The Monterey region, in my opinion, is one of the most iconic and majestic regions in all of California and is perfect for kayak fishing. The MBK Tournament is held annually in Monterey Bay by Adam Helm, a friend and fellow kayak angler to support various causes. This year's tournament fielded over 70 kayakers vying for the largest fish to be crowned the 2022 MBK Tournament winner. If you're new to kayak fishing and looking to meet like-minded people to fish with, I highly recommend attending these events to network. Let's find out how I do this year on this episode of TLA. If you want to know more about kayak fishing, you can always visit my website at www.thelosanchovy.com where I have numerous tutorials, videos, and resources to help you get started. What's up guys? Welcome to this week's episode of TLA. This week I'm down in Monterey for the annual uh, Monterey Bay Kayaks fishing tournament. And this is a great tournament held by Adam Helm here in Monterey Bay Kayaks. And I've been attending this for a few years now and um, I've always one of my favorite events to to attend but also one of the events I have not been able to place over these last few years so I'm looking to change that too uh, so I'm just gonna go you know find something and hopefully it'll bite all right we're supposed to get out here by 6 45 so we're gonna get ready get on the water and um, we'll catch you guys out there if you are down in Monterey or visiting from afar Monterey Bay kayaks offer rentals and guided fishing tours if you're interested One of the top reasons I enjoy attending kayak fishing tournaments is because it gives me the opportunity to see friends that I don't always see year round. Hopefully one day I'll see Moo again too. Who knows where he is. Safety meetings are an integral part of all kayak fishing tournaments. I often say in my seminars that we are kayakers first and anglers second. So making sure everyone stays safe is a top priority of any tournament director. I almost got the distinguished title of being the last one launching. Now that's not new to me, right? Nothing new, right? But damn, look at this. It's an absolutely gorgeous day out in Monterey Bay, baby. Hopefully I'm hoping it's a Halley. I don't know. Filthy link. Filthy link. Not even a legal one. It's a baby link. A legal one. Just a filthy one. Lots of undersized link today. Man, what's up with that? Look at the baby size link. So from a tournament participant, dude's already got a 34 inch halibut. bit. It's only gonna get rougher from here for me. Okay, got another one. Hopefully it's a it's the platy I want. Oh yeah. It's a platy. It's a platy. Oh, can't lose it. Can't lose it. It's a platy. It's a platy. Could be a winner. He's just like sideways, guys. Barely hooked. Okay. 
Vamos a cambiar. Yeah, it's got a flatty. You know what these guys are, man, I'm telling you. Well, the question is, are they big enough? So, what do you guys think? Should be a winner? I don't know, let's get on the stringer first. Let's not mess around. Gills out, put on the stringer. Now, before I start the beat down, I have to say halibut have an incredible way of surviving <laughs> and they seem to just come back to life even after an extensive beat down like this right here. Welcome back to Alright guys, so the thing about these Hallies is that they like to have one over many places. I, I feel like that that's a good size one, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be a tournament winner, honestly, to tell you the truth. Honestly, I don't I don't know if it's gonna be a tournament winner. I know where they like to lie, I know where they are. The question is whether it's gonna be a tournament winner. This whole other story. So let's see if I can get a bigger one up to kind of seal the deal here on a on a bigger fish. But that's a hefty one. Ain't nothing to sneeze about. But let's see. It's a rock fish. I think it's an undersized one too. Yeah, it's a nice undersized one. Carlos, Minion, this is for you. Yeah, out in the water. It's gorgeous. Hey, you guys didn't make up for this, uh, this tournament. You guys are missing out. Hopefully. But Lolly Jags, watch on this. Guys, so we're back on land. Um, you know, I did get that 29 inch Halley or something like that, 30 inch Halley, no more than that. But um, man, there's some formidable fish. There's always one fish that's gonna outdo me, man. And I just, I don't know what to do with this place. Even though I know how to fish this place, it's, it's, so it's one fish that always gets to me, man. But uh, the other guy had a really nice fish, that 34 inch Halley, man. I think that's gonna be the winner. Look at this, my halibut, I, and this is like, I don't even think I'm gonna even place 41 inch halibut, his was like a 34, mine looks like a baby compared to all these guys, man. And here I thought I'd at least, at least tag something in there. The one year I actually get a halibut, I won't even probably make it. Yeah. Uh, no. You take off the plus. Man, what the heck? The one year, one year I actually catch a halibut. He has to overdo me. See, you know, that's just bad juju, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've given so much to this community. <laughs> just give me a trophy for once. <laughs> but here he is, just takes my glory away from me. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, next year. Yeah, that's all weird. Next the one year okay. I get a halibut. It's a stupid tournament.
Hey, so uh, I'm Melissa with the Monterey Bay Fisheries Trust. We're a nonprofit serving the uh, Monterey Bay region. We're advancing the sustainability and the health of both of our, our beautiful ocean ecosystem and supporting the fishing community. We are growing consumer awareness, so we, we are building awareness for local people around the awesome seafood that we have right here in our bay, where to find it, and why it's important to choose that over something that's coming from a long ways away and then we also have a community seafood program that started during the pandemic to solve two problems Hung people who were hungry in our community and fishermen who had nowhere to sell their fish so we connected those two dots and we now have this awesome program uh, with partners like Meals on Wheels and Loaves and Fishes in Watsonville and providing food assistance to folks. Kiwa Fishing and Ray Rods is a major sponsor at these kayak fishing events, so check out their rods and products. I'll leave a link in the description. I believe he caught it within less than an hour. He was back here before we were even back from the boat, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. With the three winners sporting a 34, 36, and 41 inch halibut, it was clear my initial suspicions were correct. My 30 inch halibut wasn't going to cut it. Congratulations to Sonny Wynn for his 41 inch halibut that won him first place at the Five five one four four. Oh, what would be Five five one four four. No, one one four. Raffles are an awesome part of any kayak fishing community. It lets regular anglers like me that can't place an opportunity to win some cool prizes while supporting a local nonprofit doing good in our community. So I've been looking at trying to get this particular uh, stuff from Amadeo for a few years now. He does some great artwork and check this out. I won that at the raffle. I run that as a raffle. Oh man, look at that. That's such a beautiful fish. That's my spirit fish, baby. All right, guys. Uh, you know, come out here, have a lot of fun, meet a lot of people. All right, guys, so uh, that's a wrap for today at the MBK tournament. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. It's, uh, I highly encourage you guys to go out here and uh, meet the kayak fishing community. It's a great community. Um, I've been here with this community for a very, very long time. You know, it's, it's, it's something that I, I just highly recommend that you guys do. You know, it's, if you're not into kayak fishing, it's all, that's what it's all about. I did win a few good things uh, today, and that's super excited about that because that's what I've been after for a while now, this, this, uh, this halibut um, award thing. And um, so it was a great event. Hope you guys can uh, see it, and I'll catch you guys next time on another episode of GLA. Like, subscribe, and share our store in beautiful Redwood City where we have everything you need to get started. Our helpful staff will get you situated and answer any questions you may have. If you are in the East Bay, come check out our brand new store in beautiful Brooklyn Basin. From SUPs to PFDs, our shop has everything you need and our friendly staff will get you situated and in the water in no time.